Greetings today, and this is a very special update. You know, many times on our YouTube channel, we will try to do occasional updates that tend to lean toward the understanding of biblical prophecies or events that relate to what Daniel calls the time of the end. This is perhaps one of those. I mentioned on a Facebook post the other day that there's a difference between a prophetic stepping stone and a prophetic milestone. A milestone would be an event that is directly linked to a prophecy somewhere in the Old or New Testament that is in the process of being fulfilled or has been fulfilled. One example is Israel becoming a nation. That's found in Isaiah 66 after it had been, uh, let me say it this way, it would be rebirthed as a nation at the time of the end. And another would be when the Lord builds up Jerusalem. That's when Christ returns in His glory in Psalms 102. Those are prophetic milestones. A stepping stone is an event which takes place, which then leads to another stepping stone and another, which eventually leads you into a prophetic fulfillment. Now, we heard a scripture growing up, and it's been in the Bible since John wrote it in the book of Revelation, which is known as the Apocalypse, that I want to read to you and I want to comment on that concerning uh, some news that is beginning to be released here in the United States. He calls us all, both small, great, rich, poor, free, and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead that no man might buy or sell unless he has the mark, the name of the beast, or the number of his name. And this is that very, very famous passage that so many people, even in the secular world, are, are familiar with about 666, the number of the beast or the number of a person identified in the future as the Antichrist. Now, I remember growing up and hearing people preach that there would be a day when there would be no cash used to purchase. Now, we couldn't comprehend that back then. Now, you, you remember, I'm talking about when I was a kid. This was before a lot of people had uh, checking accounts. This is before you had uh, the ability to be able to uh, use credit cards. Uh, in fact, in my day, if I remember, they didn't even exist when I was a kid. You basically used cash or you went to a bank and did your business and, and things of that nature. But of course, there were checks back then, don't get me wrong. But I mean, there were certain things that did not exist. And uh, certainly you didn't do any kind of banking on a phone or a computer because they were not available at that particular time. They were hand phones are called landlines, but there was not cell phones where you could go on the internet and look up information. I know for some of you that are younger, that sounds like I'm a dinosaur from a pre-existing time, but that's how it was like, you know, 30, 40 years ago. Now things have changed. So there has been something called cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency began to emerge with something called Bitcoin many years ago. And Bitcoin is known as the most noted uh, cryptocurrency in the world. Now, for a long time, Bitcoin was just something that people invested in. And uh, later it became <clears throat> available to be used on certain websites. For example, there are certain uh, gold and silver coin sites that you can purchase gold and silver either with credit card or with PayPal or with Bitcoin. And so that has been out there. Now, the problem with that, it is more of an underground type of currency. And so uh, one man started it. Now, I, we, I said for years, uh, when people would talk about a cryptocurrency, I said the United States government is not going to use some cryptocurrency that a person has invented and, uh, and, and then bring all of the money to that individual. They will develop their own government cryptocurrency. Now, several nations have already done this. China already has a cryptocurrency of its own, and it has basically banned all other forms of cryptocurrency being used except the one which was started by the Chinese government. Israel is talking about doing this. Europe is already talking about doing this. So the United States recently announced the idea, and by the way, this is not a new idea. All of these things have been talked about for years and years. It's just being uh, emerged uh, publicly uh, in a public format for conversation recently. The United States government's talking about a Fed coin in which the federal government will uh, come up with 
a digital type of currency. Now, a digital currency is basic, basically a cashless currency. You don't write a check, you don't uh, use cash, but you simply would use your phone, for example, which most people have with a special government app, and you would deposit your money uh, using a particular number that would go into the app, that would go into your bank, and everything would be done by numbers. Well, a lot of it's being done by numbers now. You have a PIN number, credit card number, social security number, you have a banking number, routing number, telephone number, t license plate number. All these things are, we are now known by our numbers and not so much by our names. Now, the reason uh, that I talked to you about the Fed coin is this, and I don't want to go into the details of them talking about taking everybody's money in the United States into a federal bank, and then you would uh, use a, a digital currency on the money that you already have. I'm not going to talk about how they're wanting to add a certain amount to everybody from the federal government level to initiate an e equality, and we're not going to get into that because that would take too long, and that's just discussions that are now being uh, out all over the internet. You can you can see those if you're interested in those uh, from other people. But I, I do want to share with you that what I have been told by individuals who are who are familiar with this is that the um, the danger of it would be that all your income would be seen by the government. Someone said, well, they can do that through banking now. No, they can't. Because a lot of the older people, the generation 50 older, those in their 60s and 70s, still believe in using cash. And they do a lot of transitions personally with people and businesses using cash. That would all stop. What it would mean is anything you bought, anything you sold would be tracked by this particular system. And that would mean that they would know every move that you would make financially. Now, one of the negatives behind this, of course, would be what I'm about to tell you. It would then be possible for the federal government, uh, in the scenario that we're talking about, it would be possible for the federal government to be able not only to know everything you were doing, everything about you economically, financially, buying and selling in business, but if, they, if you did something or said something they did not like, they would be able to shut your account completely down, meaning you would have no money to live off of, no money to buy groceries, no money to pay bills. And this has uh, not happened through FedCoin, but this has happened in situations over the past two years here in the United States, of which we won't go into detail about. So I want to tell you that uh, they have made the statement, we want to know what the American people think. Well, what you should do is really let them know what you think about this. And again, there may be some pros behind it, but there are also many cons behind it. That's my opinion. So this is something that I think we will need to keep an eye on. I do believe eventually. And when you look at the book of Revelation, you understand it covers a seven year period. And when you get to chapters 11, 12 and 13, it is in a chronological order. So the beast system that goes into buying and selling and all the other things happens about the middle of the seven year tribulation period in the chronology of it. And I don't have time to go into all the details of why I can explain that to you. So there will come a time in which there will be a cashless society, which will be some kind of a chip device uh, between the hands or right up the hairline of the forehead. Uh, and, and you will be able to uh, buy or sell only if you have that particular system. And of course, those systems with the chip can be used for tracking an individual every place that they are. So we're coming into a very weird surveillance society where nothing is secret, nothing is hid, everything is trackable. But there again, this as a believer does not affect me or bother me because I realized this is all a part of a plan which was seen by the Apostle John in the book of Revelation well over 1900 years ago. And thank the Lord that we have a word of the Bible which is inspired that can tell us things that are going to happen in the future with amazing accuracy. Now, just for a moment, I just want to share with you, we have taken our comments off of all of our YouTube videos. Some of you like that, some of you don't, many of you don't. But we do that because I just can't take the time to read all of them. I'm very busy. And so we decided to just do that. But if you learn something when you hear me teach, give me a thumbs up. And many of you, especially overseas, we need you to simply subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button and the bell. And there's no cost, of course, but you will be notified every time we do a video because I don't want you to miss anything and have to go looking for it later. Also, every video at the end will have a personal announcement of our own with something that we would like to make available to you. So please keep watching till the end and thank you for your time. And may God bless each and every one of you.
In 35 years of hosting the main event, which is America's yearly camp meeting, this year's gathering was declared by 4,000 attendees to be the best yet. I was inspired to release new prophetic downloads the Lord gave me, including messages exposing satanic plots that are now distracting you. All of the morning speakers shot the arrow of God's revelation right on target to help us through these difficult times. On the opening night, I unlocked the concealed prophetic message in the Jewish New Year 5782 and the coming Gregorian year 2022. I also detailed how the verse numbers in the Torah actually coincide with the exact Jewish year when these predictions occurred. You can see this on our DVD message. This is a stunning Hebraic revelation. There is a new demonic principality dominating American culture and politics that I expose in the message. The third exodus, America is fighting the Ramses spirit. Ancient history is now repeating itself. Discover the strange and future ancient patterns now taking place across America. The message called Programming Americans to Accept the Mark of the Beast will explain how the masses are being set up right now to submit their freedom to the global elitists who will use future pestilences, diseases, natural disasters, and food shortages in an attempt to seize control of economic power. Using details from ancient narratives, I'll walk you through the Bible and my own personal experiences in the message when Satan's ambush becomes your worst day. Satanic strategies work through personalities that create an hour of testing. Follow the playbook of the enemy, unlock his thinking, and discover how to reverse the decision Satan has made against you and your family. My fifth message was a new message called Satan's Greatest Secret Now Exposed. Folks, this is one message your adversary hopes you never hear. This revelation literally transformed my faith, my hope, and gave me strength in a time of great weariness. You have to hear this powerful word. Jensen Franklin preached it's time to write another chapter. Shut the book on your past and write a new future. After hearing this word from God, you will do just that. Tommy Bates came in a morning service and thrilled us with his faith-building message, The Angels Are Coming. The message, which also included incredible faith-building stories, brought thousands to their feet, weeping, rejoicing, and shouting. This message will set you free from fear and anxiety, without a doubt. Listen to the revelation by John Kilpatrick. What if, prepare for the end time deception. This astonishing expose is one of the most needed messages for the entire body of Christ in this season. Now you can order all of these eight messages on CD or the DVD. The CDs are the unedited messages and the DVDs are also unedited. But the DVDs also include the PowerPoint pictures that you can see that I use. The CDs are $55 and the DVDs are $95 a set. They come in a beautiful album. The offer number for CDs is 21ME-CD. The DVD offer number, as you see on the screen, is 21ME-DVD. I want you to order right now at perrystone.org or call toll-free 1-888-21-BREAD. I promise you this, this will be one of the best set of messages you have heard in some time. Your purchase goes to keep manifest on the hair. I'm waiting to hear from you.